Welcome back to Texas Today. I'm Tahesha Moyes. And I'm Jasmine Caldwell. Shocking news from Tuesday morning. Now, according to police and family members, one student is dead after a reported stabbing at a high school in Belton. Officials with Belton PD say they got a call about an attack at Belton High School around 945 in the morning. When they arrived, they found one student now identified as police by Joe Ramirez with stab wounds. He was quickly taken to a nearby hospital where he later passed away. For more on this tragic story, return to Texas today's Barry Roy, who was live near the campus this morning. And Barry, explain to us what happened yesterday. Uh, Tasha and Jasmine, a senseless act here at the high school. Uh, high school behind me. It is uh, right behind and across the street here uh, to me, along uh, uh, just off of uh, 317 here in Belton. Uh, a senseless act, as you mentioned, all started shortly after 9:30 uh, yesterday morning. Now, according to Belton police, uh, there was a fight inside a boys' bathroom, and at some point, one of those boys, now named Kason Allison, allegedly stabbed fellow student Jose Ramirez Jr. At around 947 AM, Belton police responded to a call about the stabbing and the school was placed on lockdown at that time. Now, after the stabbing, Allison ran off campus but was taken into custody shortly thereafter, uh, just after 10 o'clock in the morning. The stabbing victim was rushed to Baylor, Scott and White in Temple. We are told after the suspect was captured and the immediate threat to the campus was over, students and teachers were released for the day. We learned from Belton police shortly before 7 PM on Tuesday night that Ramirez died from his injuries. We spoke with a student and close friend of the victim. He'll remember Ramirez as a young man who was always there for anyone at all times. You know how to make you crack a smile, know how to crack a joke, know how to make you laugh. Or as to anything, he was always there for you. And that's really who Joe was. He was always that person that even when you didn't see him, you knew he was there. I'm in shock because I have an older son that graduated from here in 2018, and it's always been a great school. I'm, I'm in shock. Belton Mayor Wayne Carpenter issuing a statement on Tuesday evening saying in part, quote, I am deeply saddened by the tragic incident at Belton High School today and send my prayers to all of those who have been impacted by it, particularly to the young victim and his family. Tahitia and Jasmine and Mayor Carpenter went on to ask all of us uh, to be in prayer for everybody that is involved in this tragic uh, sense of violence here at Belton High School it took place on Tuesday. The campus remains closed today. Uh, if anything changes or any in way this develops throughout the day, we'll certainly have it for you here on Texas Today and throughout on social media, KCNTV.com. But for now, reporting in Belton, Barry Roy, 6 News. All right, Barry, thank you. And it certainly would be hard to focus on classes oh, after sure. such a tragic incident. For sure, traumatizing. Well, the GoFundMe for Joe Ramirez has been set up online. The fundraiser's creator, Cynthia Grubb, says all money raised will go towards helping the family with funeral and burial expenses. Now, so far, they've raised $25,026, so a little over their asking of 25,000. So as you know, a lot of people in the community are donating to help this family out.